anything like that. Wide right. Little roller up along first. Behind the man. It gets through Buckner. Here comes Knight, and the Mets win it. The band is out on the field. He's going to go in the end zone. He's going to go in the end zone. The Bears have won. The Bears have won. Oh, my God. It's the Davey Mac Sports Program, where we talk to sports and other stuff, David, <laughs> like gambling. Hey! That's right. I've actually wagered a lot of money today. Oh. Not on the Super Bowl, but rather if Big A gets so drunk that he wets his pants. Oh! I, I got a grand that says he pisses himself worse than that kid in Billy Madison. <laughs> You need any refills, Andrew? <laughs> Don't give him any more refills, please. Remember to keep drinking, buddy. <laughs> anyway, I'm Roy Harder, and here's your host, Mr. Eastside, Come David on. McDonald. Come on, baby! Come on, baby! It's a Super Bowl Sunday. Keep those keyboards going, Daddy. I didn't tell you to stop. It's a Super Bowl Sunday, baby! It's the Davy Max Sports Program Super Bowl Special Live! From the Dojo of Comedy in Morris Lanes, New Jersey. Oh, kick off your Super Bowl right, baby. Get the weed going on. Get the, get the alcohol going on. We got myself, Davey Mack, right here on the microphone. We got the doctor of style, the musical director, Roy Harder. Give it up on the keyboards. We got Bobby Pan, Bobby Tambura. Rocking and rolling, making it happen. We got Big A Andrew Gold right there, over there, front row, baby. We got Liz sitting next to Andrew Gold. We love Liz. And we got Connor over there, sitting over there, baby, having a Guinness over there. Oh my God, Roy. I cannot wait. Roy, do you know that it's the Super Bowl today? Sure do, buddy. Roy. Are you ready for the Super Bowl? Huh? Are you ready I am for ready to some football? Oh! Are you ready for some football? Hold on. Yeah, Roy, what button do I hit? Uh, I just hit the top. <laughs> just hit the, the top. The top row select. It's only doing one at a time. That's it. One at a time is cool. One at a time. It's all right, buddy. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We don't need no effects. You know why? Because the Davy Max Watch program, we live on the here and the now, baby. You ready, Roy Hunter? Let's do it. Who's ready for the football? Connor, you ready? All Andrew. All our friends are coming over tonight, David. We got the Niners and the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Andy Reid looking. Hell, us whoa. We got a Brock Penn, birdie, San Fran or lit. While Mahomes says, eat my shit. Are you ready for some football? Are you ready for some football? Yeah! It's Christian McCaffrey in the game. Kittle and Debo have Star Wars Dave. If you're looking for a Super Bowl boat, what Kelsey and Taylor fucking the zone. We got it. We got it. We got the football. Are you ready for some football? Super Bowl party. Are you ready for the football? It's a Super Bowl party! Come on! We got Roy Harder, Bobby Demaro, and the Liz and Andrew and Connor and Dave. It's football! Roy Harder! Boom! Baby. Yeah. How's that, buddy? Excellent! <laughs> we didn't rehearse it! We did not rehearse that, Liz. <laughs> How about that? Awesome. Fantastic, Roy Hart. That was wonderful. Broke a sweat on the first right, song. No, I'm excited. Now you're, now That's you're. the kind of juice I was looking for, Daddy. Now we're warmed up, right? Now we're warmed up. Super Bowl Sunday. And we got to thank you guys for being here so much. I am so excited. Big time game tonight, Roy Hart. I, I heard. Sanford said, you know, who's playing in the game? Go ahead. I wish Let's, see. I was, Let's see. I was... No, For five points right off the bat, let's see if Roy Harder even knows the participants in the game itself. Let's go. No, I don't, David, but I'm going <laughs> to say 49ers and the Eagles. He, oh, he was so close. Oh, 
So close. 49ers and Eagles cannot play in the Super Bowl. Both <laughs> NFC teams. It's the oh. 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs, Roy Harder. The Chiefs. Patrick terrible. Mahomes. Damn it. His father, Patrick Mahomes, also third DUI arrest uh -oh. a few days ago. Meanwhile, his brother Jackson Mahomes about, what, six to eight months ago got arrested. Yeah. Then you got the, uh, the wife, Brittany Mahomes, who's now on the cover of Sports Illustrated. This poor son of a bitch cannot get uh, away from his family. <laughs> the only thing that will deter Patrick Mahomes from catching Tom Brady at seven Super Bowls is the fucking Mahomes family. Mark my words. At some point, there's just going to be so much shit that the kid just decides, you know what? I'm fucking retiring like Barry Sanders. I hate my family. I can't stand them. Partying in the goddamn suite. The dad's always fucking boozed out of his mind. The goddamn fucking brother's a goddamn loose cannon. Oh, boy. The fucking dog. I mean, the uh, wife, no offense. She got the Bugs Bunny, you know, with the teeth. I mean... He's a big-time quarterback. I'm just saying, can he at least, you know, get, get her to file those teeth down? I don't know how you, how you correct the buck tooth, tooth situation, Roy, but can we get a nail file on those things? I think that's actually what they do. They file them down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, get someone to file down goddamn Brittany Mahomes' teeth, for Christ's sakes, Liz. You have nice, beautiful teeth, Liz. When, unfortunately, Brittany Mahomes, Jesus Christ, she could eat off the floor without fucking uh, bending down. With those goddamn choppers. Oh, boy, damn it. <laughs> I guess uh, we got some Brittany Mahomes relatives over there. <laughs> Andrew fucking lives. No selling my goddamn jokes over there. <laughs> I don't want to have to work for a living today, okay? I want raucous enthusiasm and plenty of fucking over-the-top laughter over there, even if the jokes suck my ass. In Andrew's defense, in his world, you can marry a horse. So he thought you were talking about a literal horse, David. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true, Andrew? Andrew Gold, baby. You're excited for the Super Bowl, are you not? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Mr. Champion. <laughs> um, Andrew, you yes. were saying that yes. you actually, he actually, uh, did you know that Andrew wants to become a uh, one of those fo football prognosticators a la Jimmy the Greek? That's who he wants to pattern he himself <laughs> after. I said that's the exact wrong guy. I said if you're going to do a, <laughs> if you're going to be a football prognosticator, no, no problem with that, but not Jimmy the Greek. Who I, I don't want to say what he said. Let's just say that he did go. He had a very interesting theory, which is why he got fired up by CBS in the early 80s. Yeah. Was, and it had to deal with uh, black people are better at sports and better athletes because of slavery. That's what he said. I'm not going to. I'm not going <laughs> to. No, we, we don't want to touch it. Yeah. I, I don't. We, can't, we don't want to touch it. Can't confirm or deny those. those uh, we can't. No, no, no. We can deny. We can deny that yes, slavery yes. is the reason. Yes. Why Lamar Jackson won the NFL MVP. We can deny that. Yes. <laughs> but um, you said you had a, uh, a nice little fucking speech you wanted to do, like a Jimmy the Greek uh, type of, uh, yes, you want to give your champion. football picks? Do you have any uh, big A music, Roy, for him? Go why, ahead, Andrew. Why doesn't Andrew walk up and stand next to you? We got the nice big stage now. You can slide over a little bit. Go we get him on the big screen. Andrew, is that Grab cool it. with you? You can bring the mic with you. Just put on the other side of the mic stand so you don't drive Grab it with you. Grab a seat, too. Grab Andrew, a seat. Andrew, look. Grab a seat, Andy. Here, I'll, I'll hold the mic. You grab the seat. You take take your time. I don't want you to trip and fall. And Andrew, why don't you juggle a little bit? This guy's gonna, you know, uh, Andrew's one of those people. He'll trip and fall. He'll fucking break his nose. He'll sue everyone, including Roy Harder. I just the only reason I said that was everybody in the chat when they saw Big A was here were saying Big A, Big A. So I figured let's get him out there with you. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Brand new stage here at the Dojo of Comedy. Do you like this? This is beautiful, isn't it? It's like uh, Madison Square Garden. Yeah. It's this got is a nice that. little stress test, huh? I like it. I actually uh, <laughs> fucking think the stage is pretty goddamn awesome. Like, I just went up two feet when Andrew sat down. He came a skateboard <laughs> ramp. <laughs> <laughs> actually, no, I did notice something about you, Andrew. You lost a considerable amount of weight. He didn't no. notice. He told you. I overheard their fucking conversation. And quite frankly, I am proud of him. He's lost 12 uh, pounds this month. However, he has within 30 seconds of every single person said, oh, Hi, Liz. I lost 12 pounds last month. Hi, Connor. Nice to see you. Did you know I dropped 12 pounds? Roy, I dropped a dozen pounds. Bobby, I'm 12 pounds lighter. And he says it within the first four seconds. So you didn't notice. He told you. He told me. You made a fat joke at his expense, and then you tried to fucking run away from it. 
That's why I say you notice he's thinner. 12 pounds. What are you doing? What's the day? And get that microphone. Eat it. Eat the mic. You know how to do it. Um, just eating better and walking. Eating better and walking, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the keys to success. That's all. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. This is uh, Andrew's Super Bowl speech, and uh, he's going to give you some predictions and, and some things to watch out. Basically, Big A's keys of the game. Roy Hunter, whenever they have a big, huge football game, they always go to one of the guys, okay, this is the key of the game, some of the keys of the game. Go ahead, Andrew. Good afternoon, assholes. Big A, the Greek here. It's the best day of the year. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Yes! Yeah! Awesome. I don't know why you always start your speeches by calling everyone assholes, though. That is a weird little thing that you've got, but just continue. It's your uh, goddamn segment, I suppose. It's much better than Christmas. Super Bowl. Much better than Christmas. In my opinion, because I'm not forced by my family to dress up as Santa Claus and steal the money from the Salvation Army. Um, today, we've got the, the San Francisco Wait, 49ers. wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, even, don't, don't, don't just go past what you said. Okay. On Christmas, the family forces you to dress like Santa Claus and steal from the Salvation Army. Not, not work for the Salvation Army for the day. Steal. Yes. What? Eat the mic. Yes, Mr. Champion. Steal from the Salvation yes. Army. Okay. Now you may continue. Right. That's low, though. <laughs> That's the point. Um, uh, today, we got the San Francisco 49ers versus the, the Kansas City Chiefs. If we look at what both cities are famous for, in Kansas City... If we look at what uh, both uh, cities are famous for, okay, Kansas City. They're known for eating barbecue. Barbecue, Roy. He's right about that. Whereas in San, in San Fran, they're known for eating cock. Okay. Cock? <laughs> it's a homophobic thing that he just said. He was pointing to the fact that San Francisco has a large gay population. And free-range chicken, Dave. Yeah, I mean, but, you know. <laughs> see, I mean, now you are actually becoming like Jimmy the Greek. You just, you, you know, I, I, I didn't want to go there. Saying things like Kansas City known for eating barbecue, San Francisco known for eating cock. Okay, that's politically incorrect. It's insensitive. Just continue with the speech. Hopefully, we can do some good football talk right now. Okay, just continue. All right, let's go. Stay focused. San Francisco is also known for the Grateful Dead. Ah, San Francisco known for the Grateful Dead, Roy. One of my favorites. In fact, every time I have intercourse and behead a hooker, I listen to American Beauty. A great album to snuff someone out. Okay, time out, time out, time out, T.O., T.O., T.O. Lots yes. to unpanic here. Unpanic or unpanic? Unpack. <laughs> I'm panicking, I suppose. I combined lots to unpack because I'm fucking panicking. Okay. So you like The Grateful Dead? Yes. You like the album American Beauty? Yes. And while listening to it, you enjoy having sexual intercourse with a prostitute and yes. then beheading her. Yes, Mr. So Champion. you kill you 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 kill women. Yes, Mr. Champion. Did you kill that woman? Have you killed that most yes, recent Mr. woman? Champion. You killed her. Yes. You beheaded her. Yes. Did you shoot her? Yes. Did you strangle her? Yes. Stab her. Yes. Push her off a cliff. Yes. Let a lion eat her. Yes. Jesus Christ! Give her rabies. Yes. Shoot her with a laser. Yes. Fucking hey, man. Take a hammer to her head. Yes. Pour red hot ants down her throat. Yes. Jesus fucking Christ. Put spikes through her pussy. Yes. Jesus fucking Christ. It's like doing a show with seven. <laughs> the fucking movie. Jesus fucking Christ. Disturbing. Just continue with the speech. It's your segment, right, but right. I got, this is going to, we're going to, we might have to shorten right. this, okay? Right. Big A the Greek. Jesus Christ. And I'm, I'm also disturbed that Connor was laughing at what he does to prostitutes. 
<laughs> he, he was picturing. He was picturing the murder take place. Please, just okay. go. Go. As far as Kansas City goes, they have Ant Man, Paul Rudd as a notable president. Ant Man, Paul Rudd. He's from Kansas City. He's a big Chiefs fan, I guess. Hell yeah! Good job, Andrew. That's sometimes so I, sometimes I wish I could drink down the size of an ant. If I could, I jump in Roy Harder's dick hole and go swim in his piss. Jesus Good times. fucking Christ! Good times. Good times. Good times. Did I hear that right? Yes. If did. he was, if he could have the Paul Rudd technology and shrink to the size of an ant, the thing that he would do, the number one thing on his list, would be to jump in your dick hole and swim in your piss. And I mean, I don't even think that's how it works. I think the piss is located in in the ball. Not, I don't. Biologically, I don't think any of this makes sense, Andrew. And it's also fucked up. An ant's still pretty big. Yeah, I don't think too. an ant would even fit in the dick hole. It wouldn't feel good. Not Roy Harder's big fucking fat ass dick. Yeah, fucking nice nine girthy. goddamn inches of fucking vanilla chocolate is what they fucking say. You know what they call that? The Roy bone. He's got one of those supreme putter yeah. dicks. <laughs> <laughs> disgusting, Andrew. This is disgusting. Roy, are you? I, I apologize. <laughs> You're okay. Are, are you offended by that in any uh, way? Uh, slightly, but that's okay. At the same time, it almost kind of sounds nice. Yes. Like he's thinking of you, kind of and an he kind of he wants to swim in your piss. My, yeah. He didn't choose me or Roberts. Good point. Yeah. So, I guess it's kind of a compliment to Roy. Just, just okay. You know what? Yeah. Andrew Gold. The more I think about it, Big A, Andrew Gold. Give him a round of applause. What? What's that? I'm not finished, Mr. Eat the microphone. What? I'm not finished, Mister Champion. He's not finished yet. More to say. Yes. Wish that wasn't the case. Me too. Yeah. I don't want to be blunt, but Patrick Mahomes' wife, Brittany, is kind of ugly. <laughs> if you don't want to be blunt, <laughs> then, I mean, that's the <laughs> most blunt thing I've heard. My God. Don't, don't get me wrong. I throw some jizz in her direction. She throw What? You what? I throw some jizz in her direction. You'd throw some jizz in, in, in her direction. direction. Yes. It sounds like he would actually fling like, it though with his hand. Like a monkey. Yeah, like a fucking monkey. Is that continue? She has a, a snaz <laughs> bigger than a Buick and has googly eyes. <laughs> I never seen to be synchronized. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't think... I think he forgot the punchline on that one. He just basically stated the truth. He, she's got googly eyes that never seem to be synchronized. <laughs> That's true. I always concentrate on the big Bugs Bunny teeth. But he's right. Her fucking eyes are always darting all over the place, too. She's got a lot of issues for being like a blonde lady who you kind of think like should be hot, and then you stare at her, and it's like, eh, she's a knot. Rather than a hot. That should be a game. Hot or not? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why she doesn't file her teeth down, though, so you get stuck on those and you don't get the old fish. Yeah, because <laughs> the eyes are like... <laughs> All right. Is that it? Nope. Jesus. Go ahead. And how, Fuck, man. And how about Chiefs coach Andy Reid? Andy Reid. Roy Harder. Great coach. That guy... Looks like a character out of Cocoon. <laughs> Looks like a character from Cocoon. What an old fatso. Hey, Andy, aren't you supposed to be doing diabetes commercials? <laughs> you Wilfred Brimley looking to what? Jesus! <laughs> Guy loses a few fucking pounds. He shits on Andy Reid. <laughs> Well, he says, go back to Cocoon, and you called him a twat. Yes. Harsh for Andy Reid. Big A, Andrew Gold, everyone. Thank you so much, Andrew. Thank you. Okay. What? Um, Mr. No. Champion, I'm not finished yet. Not I finished yet. Say. Okay, just wrap it up, please. Right. What about 
that Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy, Roy, quarterback for the for the 49ers. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Everyone says he looks like Lee Harvey Oswald. That's actually true, Roy. During the media week, an announcer, uh, one of the reporters said to Brock Purdy, Hey, how's it feel uh, looking like Lee Harvey Oswald? Wow. Yeah, you had to answer that question on the press conference. Good, Andrew. Good. I Finally, can't... something a little timely and a little research. research. Yeah, non insane. Yeah, yeah. I like it when it's like a topical thing rather than, you know, Andrew's confessions. Let's be honest. You don't want Stephen A. Smith. You just want a straight yeah. facts. Yeah. That's yeah. what I want. Okay. I want a Jim Nance. Go ahead. Finish it. Brock Purdy. What's, what's going on with him? I can I can uh, see it. You, he, you think he looks like Lee Harvey yeah. Oswald? Okay. It would be cool if Purdy won the Super Bowl. And just as he was going to say, I'm going to Disney World, Jack Ruby shoots him on the 50 yard line. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Okay. That would be ja so funny. Yeah, Jack oh, shit. Okay. You're getting carried away with the Lee Harvey Oswald thing. Jack Ruby's right. dead. Right. He died over 50 years ago. He's not going to be, it's not possible for Jack Ruby to shoot Brock Purdy on the 50 yard line. I am sure. <laughs> I'm sure. He Somebody died a long time ago. He died in the 60s, I believe. Back and to the left, Dave. Yeah. Not going to happen. Please finish this up. Oh, oh, shit. I'm nearly wearing my pants. Debo. Debo. I just skipped that one, okay, Andrew. Okay. <laughs> in any... In any event... <laughs> Gotta wrap it up, Andrew. He's killing it. It should be a great game. Enjoy the Super Bowl, everyone. I'm Big A. Agree. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> he shakes my hand. Thank you for shaking my hand. The Pope of the Dojo of Comedy. Big A, Andrew, go. Big Take your a, microphone with you. Big A, Big A, Big A. Dave, a little help. Big A, Big A. Big A, 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 Big all right, give, can we give a little football music? Yeah, sure. Uh, I think you're asking me the question. Are you ready for <laughs> some football? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I tell you what. I'm going to put in my, my vote first. I'll go to you last. Okay. We'll go to Robert so you can give us a little football music. So I'm putting you on the spot. I know. I, I'm rooting for the 49ers just because I like the Brock Birdie, Mr. Irrelevant from the bottom to the top story. It's pretty amazing. It you really know. is. It, it, it's, it's a movie-worthy story. I, I, that's who I'm pulling for. I think it's a better story than the tight end who had an okay season kissing the girl at the 50 <laughs> yard line. You know what I mean? Like, it's a story yeah. we've seen before, but maybe that's just because I've always been the Brock Purdy in my life, <laughs> you know, and coming from the underdog status. But I would also say uh, it's the Super Bowl. Yeah. You know, a lot of It'd people. Be great. A lot of people wait their whole life, and you just hope nobody gets hurt, and it's a fun game for everybody. All right. All good points. Liz, grab that microphone. I want detailed analysis and prognostications from Liz. Who are you rooting for? What do you think the game? Who's going to win? Jerry Rice. Come on, let's go. Give me the goddamn fucking thing. Get that microphone. Eat it. San Francisco 49ers or Kansas City Chiefs? We're going to go with 49ers. 49ers score, please. Um, 22-17. 22-17, Niners. By the way, Robert, you didn't give a score, so I need a score from you. I'm going to go 42-35. 42-35, Niners? Game-winning touchdown by the Niners. Wow! Damn. Two! Brock, Brock Purdy out Mahomes, Mahomes. Whoa! All right, I'm excited. So that would I be great. This, Dave, while we do this, if you're in the chat, if you want to throw your predictions in, we'll read them through real quick once we're done. Sure. Everybody. That's good. Andrew, go ahead. I think that the 40... Niners are going to win. As you can be given. Wow! I'd like to change my pick. <laughs> As you can hear me on Davey Mac fighting 
to the boys on Patreon only. <laughs> He's plugging my Patreon. <laughs> we uh, every time I drive Andrew, I pick him up at Metro Park, yeah. and then we shoot a uh, a travel uh, show called uh, Driving with the Boys. And we did do another yeah. one. So if you are subscribed to Patreon.com slash Eastside uh, Dave, when I get home tonight, yeah. we will be uploading our Super Bowl version of that. Thank you for promoting okay. that. <laughs> but uh, what do you think about the uh, Super Bowl now? Niners? 49ers? Yes. Niners, 40, Chiefs. Niners. Uh, wow. 40-35. Uh, 40-35. A lot of high-scoring games. Pass that microphone over to Connor. Connor? What do you think here? I gotta be honest. I haven't watched football in years. That's fine. That's fine. I watch the English football. English football. Yeah, you're I a big uh, soccer guy. I think though the season is lost for Liverpool. Lost. <laughs> Manchester City sits in second place. Okay, but, Manchester. But with yeah. a game in hand. Uh huh. All I right. don't see them losing for the rest of All the right. year. So Pep Guardiola's got the boys in line. So are, are we going Man City? Yeah, Man City. Yeah, Man City. <laughs> Re regretfully, but no, I'll say 49ers. 49ers? For, for Bill Walsh. Holy for Bill shit. Walsh. You and realize we have four for Bill Walsh on top of You realize four Niners picks. Roy Hunter. I'm actually going to make it five, buddy, because I'm going with the 49ers. Big fan of that Joe Namath. <laughs> the Joe Montana played for the uh, 49ers. Joe Namath was a Jet. <laughs> That's the guy. See, I can't play and talk. Well the same known, time. well known for drunkenly asking Subi, uh, Susie Colber on Monday Night Football. Give me a Can I give you a little kiss? Can I give you a little kiss? That it's it's sad. The number one thing that I think of with Joe uh, Namath is that it's moment clip. where he's all fucking hammered and he was like, "Can I give you a little kiss?" Even pissed drunk, he was asking for consent. The man's I, a hero. He, it made me laugh, and Susie Colbert never blamed him. She was like, I was, and people were like, that was awful. He, I mean, she's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm Susie Colbert. That happened to me. He's a fucking legend. It was a football game. He was having a good time. Wasn't offended in any way, shape, or form. And asked. That's yeah. why Susie Colbert kind of rules. Um, Niners, 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 Niners. There's no fucking way I yeah. am on board with any of you people. Okay, the fact that you guys unanimously have chosen the San Francisco 49ers tells me for certainty the Kansas City Chiefs are going to be winning this game. Without a doubt. For certainty. Okay, Chiefs 31, Niners 30. Patrick Mahomes is your Super Bowl MVP. Are you ready for some football? A Roy Hunter party. We got the Chiefs and the Niners rocking a night. And everybody's gonna be your right to football. Are you ready for some football? Is that, is that your favorite football inspired song? It must be. This is the third time we sang it today. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I mean, I sing it to you off the oh, air yeah, oh, all the time. That's a good point. Um,. I would think so. Well, you know, I love those classic NFL films songs. Oh, yeah. The classic ones where John Facenda was narrating. You know, we're, we're talking the night. It was a bloody day yes. in yeah. 1992. The dramatic stuff. Yeah. And then Orenthal, James Simpson. Oh, man, Goosebumps. I get fucking goosebumps when I think of that shit. And you got John Finn's Facenda, like, the Oakland Raiders knew it was their time. Their big fat coach, John Madden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Those my, were the days, Roy. My favorite, though, would be occasionally they wouldn't edit it quite right. They didn't, clearly didn't have Roy doing it, so it would be like an upbeat thing, and it would be like, and then Orenthal James Simpson was arrested, but not convicted, <laughs> you know. And it would just be like the pump-up music. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Can we want to run through our, our fans? We did have a couple yes. predictions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, get some uh, predictions here. We had Scott Walker, San Fran 49, KC 48. Wow. Another offensive game. We have uh, Kevin Flynn, KC 24, San Fran 14. Oh, Kevin Flynn and I are the only Chiefs people so far. And Thomas Pickering joins you with the Chiefs win 31 to 27. 31 27. Reign of terror will continue. Yeah. Me and Thomas Pickering have a similar uh, game in our mind's eye, I think. 
31 27 31 30 was mine but i you know yeah, similar you're type envisioning of thing. it uh you guys probably are the most knowledgeable it would seem like <laughs> but uh no, then we have one other person and i don't know if he's saying these things just to be a contrarian but <laughs> contrarian 420 <laughs> seems to have roy's sports knowledge because he wants refrigerator perry to score a bunch <laughs> of touchdowns no home runs today you know that mike ditka got a lot of shit for giving the ball to uh, the fridge, William Refrigerator Perry, in that Super Bowl because the guy who had been on the Chicago Bears for 10 fucking years yeah. had been through the hard times and one of the greatest running backs ever, Walter Payton, did not get a touchdown in that blowout of a Super Bowl. Oh, and right, there was okay. always a little resentment yeah. that, hey, you gave it to the fucking fridge and the guy who's been the Chicago Bears organization since fucking Dick Butkus retired is sitting there like a fucking dick holding his fucking dick in his hands. Waiting for you know a butt I mean? kiss. Yeah. Waiting for a butt kiss. No. I get it, buddy. Okay, Robert. Kiss through that alley and I slammed it <laughs> home, Dave. Now, Roy. Yeah, buddy. Big A's not the only one who wants to talk about the Super Bowl. Wait a minute. There's a young... Oh, sorry, Liz. I apologize. Hold on. I have a question. I thought we were gambling. What happens if 49ers actually win and you're wrong? If the San Francisco 49ers win and I'm wrong, jack and shit. Oh. I'm not a Chiefs fan. If I'm a Giants fan, I'm going to put something up. Okay. You think I actually care if Mahomes wins? The, the answer is no. Football. I'm a New York football Giants fan. I could fucking care less if a goddamn bomb was detonated in the middle of the yeah. fucking field, Probably like, you know, Batman 3, and the fucking all of the players fall into the middle of the field, okay? I think we should phone the fans and see what they think. <laughs> we just fucking did, Robert. Wait, what the fuck? Hey, maybe put down the joint before the DMSP, Liz. Okay, there's a fucking show going on. Like, we're, 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 we're way past you. Hello? Hello. Liz needs to come every week. Liz, Liz, I'm the one who gets that. It's on an eight-minute delay of the fucking DMSP. <laughs> now, I'm going into my little friend, the sports <laughs> robot here. No, just... Sports robot, everyone. Come on, give him a round of applause. He hasn't been here in such a long time. What the fuck is going on? Um, all right. So, Roy, uh, you know all about this guy, Sports Robot. He's such a nice little guy. Sports Robot, how are you, buddy? He's, uh, and, and I have to interpret all the things that Sports Robot is saying. I'm the only one who can speak robot. So, uh, what was that, Sports Robot? I apologize. He says he'd be better if the Swifties shoved an entire football up my ass. I don't know why. That's weird. Um, so anyway, just let's gonna uh, we're gonna move on. What do you think of this year's uh, Super Bowl sports robot? What do you think about? <laughs> he wants the Chiefs to lose because what? <laughs> His ex girlfriend Taylor Swift is rooting for them. <laughs> so he also dated Taylor Swift. What? <laughs> he he calls her a slut <laughs> and says the song "Shake It Off." It's actually about Taylor shaking the jizz off her face. <laughs> right off. <laughs> Out of the line, sports robot. Man, what the? That's fucked up. What? He thinks Andy Reid will call a great game. As long as that fatso doesn't eat the play sheet. Okay. Reed is so fat, he makes Charles Barkley look like one of those live aid Ethiopians. I, <laughs> I think they're just Ethiopians. I don't think you had to be specified and call them live aid Ethiopians. <laughs> they were real people. They weren't purchased by live aid, I don't think. Uh, what? What's the difference between Brock Purdy and Patrick Mahomes? Oh my God. The white QB can afford to go Disney World even if he doesn't win the Super Bowl. <laughs> fucking racist. No, no, it's not funny at all. It's racist. No, it's racist. No, it is racist. Why are you arguing with me? What? Why can't you trust Chiefs running back Isaiah Pacheco with the ball? Because he's Puerto Rican, then he'll steal it. That's it. Sports robot. No, no. I should have cut Andrew off early, so I'm cutting you off early. You know, we, we wanted to do a nice fucking Super Bowl, you know, party special. I wasn't expecting so much controversy and chaos, Roy Hollis. I guess not, huh? Between Andrew and Sports Robot, our asses are going to fucking get uh, Pat, uh, Pat McAfee. 
the worst which, part is which means thing, everyone's gonna hate us. The thing that get is gonna get us is gonna be you saying you hope the stadium blows up. <laughs> if anything happens, that clip's not gonna age well. Like Batman, you dick! It happened in Batman. It's not a fucking threat if I'm referencing the fucking movie. Jesus, Dark Knight Rises. Anybody seen it? It's gonna be a dark Bane. Knight clip. He blew up the goddamn fucking field, yo. Yeah, of course. Motherfucker. Roy, you want to do a song? Uh, sure, yeah. What song do you want to do? Just, 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 just tell me the thing. Taylor what? Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a rocker, buddy. Uh, how about some ACDC, huh? All right, let me look it up, buddy. Give yeah. me a, do a little, um, do a little vamping. <laughs> Connor wants the dead. He was like, you guys are fucking, you guys are bringing up the dead. Connor's a big deadhead, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Connor, give him a round of applause. Give Andrew Cole a round of applause. Give Liz a round of applause. We are so happy they're here. Oh, yeah. yeah oh. It's a Super Bowl party, baby, with the Davy Max Sports Program. Live from the Dojo of Comedy in Morris Plains, New Jersey. You ready, Roy? Let's do it, buddy. Riding down the highway Going to a show Stopping on the byways Playing rock and roll Getting rock Getting stoned Getting beat up Broken bone Getting hacked Getting took I tell you folks it's harder than it looks. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Yeah. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. If you think it's easy doing one night stand, try playing in a rock and roll band. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Roy Harder, give it to him. <laughs> Hotel Motel. Make you want to cry. Ladies to the heart sell. Know the reason why. Getting old, getting great, getting ripped off, underpaid, getting sold, second hand. That's how it goes, playing in a band. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. If you wanna be a stage of scourge and scream, look out! It's rough and me. It's a long way to the top if you wanna rock and roll. Take one more, Roy. Come on, baby. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, Andrew. Clap it up. Yeah, baby. Here we go. Riding down the highway. Hey. Going to a show. Stopping on the byways. Playing rock and roll. Getting robbed. Getting thrown. Getting beat up. Broken bone. Getting tall. Getting took. I tell you folks, it's harder than it looks. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. If you think it's easy doing one night stand, try playing rock and roll face. It's a long way to the top. 
if you wanna rock and roll. Oh, it's a long way to the top if you wanna rock and roll. Happy Super Bowl! Woo! Come on! Give it to him, baby! Come on, baby! Roy Hunter, baby! I'm not hard attack you. <laughs> Come on, give it to him again! That's nice <laughs> it! Oh! Now I'm ready to watch some fucking football, baby! Is the time already? No, no! No, oh, okay. No, we got like five hours. That's the thing about the Super Bowl, man. It tortures you. If yeah. you're a sports fan, you could give a shit. <laughs> He's probably like, I wish the Super Bowl wasn't coming on until 9 p.m. You don't care, but I do. I want to watch this fucking thing. Oh, I can't wait, buddy. Yeah. I can't wait. It's so, going to be a good Super Bowl. Where, where are you watching the game type? Be watching the game in my car. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you were driving me home tonight, buddy. <laughs> this might be the last DMSP. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. I'm doing Robert a favor. Yeah. He has to get home. I'm actually doing me a favor. You're driving me home, so you're doing me the favor. I'm doing both of you motherfuckers a favor, and I'm fucking Marcellus Wallace ass is doing both of you motherfuckers a favor. In the fifth round, your ass goes down. Say it, butch. Oh. I just watched Pulp Fiction yesterday. That's why the random Pulp Fiction references. Oh, There's no okay. really yeah rhyme or reason for him. Um... No, uh, because Robert uh, is busy. He's got thing, things to do. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and because he's... Taking a mental health he's, day. He's taking a mental health day. <laughs> and because he's he's the king of production. I yeah. mean, he is great. He's yeah. good, and he's good at, he, he has to get a lot, a lot of production to me. No, I think he needs, to take, <laughs> he needs to get some sleep is what he needs. Yeah, he needs to get some sleep. The guy's been uh, on yeah. the road 24-7 exactly. the last week. Exactly. We could just say, guys, I got to go play in the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I'm in New Jersey. This is the greatest favor of all time. I, I forgot. I was going to just call you up and say, hey, this one time and one time only. Could you drive yourself? But then I thought, ah, fuck I, it. I don't have a car now. I, it's my, I, I, what do you mean you don't have I, a car? I, I, my son's got the car, so I'm like, I'm, I'm carless right now. <laughs> He's taking the car to gig. So I'm like, Seriously? Right. Yeah. Yeah, he had a bluegrass gig or something. So I was like, all right, well, I guess I'm 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 waiting on Robert now. So I had no ride. All right. All right. Either way. So I'm, I'm driving from Jersey to Long Island back to South Jersey. Yeah. Okay, but here is what I'm thinking. I will get to my house by I'm thinking four minutes left to go in the first quarter. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even kidding. That was no joke. Four minutes left the first quarter. Well, if there was a joke over there, then say to the microphone, please. Go ahead, Liz. You, oh, I thought you were saying something. It's just Andrew uh, laughing ra ra randomly. You know what's the funny thing about Andrew? When you uh, drive Andrew, yeah. and you pick him up. Like, and I, I wonder if I'll have this experience Wait, hold on, with you. Time out, time out. Does that mean that we have to pick up, we have to take Andrew in? The no, Andrew's got, you have your own ride home, right? Yeah. You told oh, me okay. I don't have to fucking get, uh, drive you, you back have, to Metro you Park. Don't have to, no, you okay, don't have Jesus. To. Okay. Well, no, if I do, that's no problem, but no, we, you, you and I are going to Long Island first. If you think I'm going South Jersey, yeah. back to fucking Long Island, and then South, you got another thing. I won't get back home till fucking uh, Tuesday. So if I got to fucking drive you to Metro Park, you motherfucking sack of shit, we taking the goddamn ride to Long Island first. You and me both. All right? And you can watch the Super Bowl at Roy's house or my fucking house. Dave's house. Let's take Dave's house. <laughs> I'd love it if you came over to my house and we watched the Super Bowl together. That'd be fucking fun as shit. That was your initial solution. You were like, why don't we all just go to my house? We can stay here and watch the game and have a party. And it was like, I think Roy might have work on Monday. <laughs> I know. Originally, I told Robert, I go, well, because well, well, everyone's like, well, well, I mean, we're going to do a show on Super Bowl Sunday at the dojo. And I'm like, yeah, what's wrong with that? It's at, at two o'clock. Super Bowl doesn't fucking start till seven. They always say that the, the, the kickoff is like 647. Oh. And then you immediately get into fucking minutes and minutes and minutes of fucking commercials. Then we'll, we'll be home. Way, you'll be home way in time to, to catch the game. Yeah, it's, I'm not worried. Seven, you're fine. I'm you're not worried. Fine. Do you know how about Andrew speaking the microphone vouch for my Indian. fucking driving ability? I swear to God, Roy, I miss my fucking opportunity. I always knew I could have been a professional athlete, but I thought, you know, I, if I, if I put my mind to it, I should have concentrated on baseball because yeah. I did hit 389 in JV. Wow. Okay. In high school and led the team in batting average and RBIs. Nice. Seems impressive. Okay. 
All right. I was Davey Dependable. Robert, yeah. who, who's your favorite baseball player? Paul O'Neill. Boom. That's literally what they called me. They were always reverencing. They were like, that guy's like Paul O'Neill. He's a redheaded Paul O'Neill. That's what all the parents would say. Redheaded Paul O'Neill. With Davey Mac, you're gonna, you, you can count on fucking doubles. Yeah. Occasional home run. Yeah. But a lot of ribbies, baby. A lot of ribbies. Playing through a lot of pain. Playing through pain. Screaming every time you make a dive and catch. Oh, uh, the whole temper thread. tantrum. Mm -hmm. Fucking, you know, if I struck out, I'd fucking rip, take, I'd put my hands down my pants and take the cup out and try to throw it at the pitcher. Oh. Try to hit him with my fucking dick protector. Okay, I already like, love you. I already love Paul O'Neill. Did he do that? Well, no, that's. Oh, okay. I was going to say he would have been the best baseball player ever. That's something I did threaten. Did you know that I got ejected from a Lily Golf Star game? For doing what? Fucking piece of shit. When I was 10 years old, the, 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 I, I was uh, hitting, Jesus Christ, the All-Star Tournament. It was a tournament, and I was hitting 600. No shit, man. I was fucking two for three or three for four every goddamn game. This particular game in the semifinals, I rocked two fucking doubles off this little pussy-ass pitcher. Bases loaded, tie game. No, excuse me, Robert. Second and third tie game. The manager comes out. Davey Mack is at the plate. Pitcher's still in the game. The fucking manager of the other team comes out to the game. It was the kid's father. Okay? And the manager is telling the kid, and I keep seeing the kid look in my direction like this. Kind of beginning to maybe have some emotion in the eyeballs. Maybe tears formulating and he was he kept peeking all past his dad looking at me dad walks off the mound umpire play ball Dave Mac digs in I'm ready to fucking unload here and I'm ready to fucking send second and third home ready to give us a two-run lead ready to fucking you know do something do see that see that right there Boom, you know choke it up choke up fast choke it up hands. choke it up the kid plunks me right in the fucking head. Yeah. So, knowing sports, even at the age of 10, I knew sports. What do you think that goddamn pitcher's mound visit by the manager was for? It was for the, it was, it was the fucking coach of the other team telling his son to plunk me in the head. No. 100% in a storyline Similar to the original band, Bad News Bears. The one with Walter Matthau, not the Billy Bob Thornton fucking remake shit. I need the, the one with the 70s, where you got to hear racial slurs and stuff. That's the good Bad News Bears. Tanner was the shit. Tanner. A little fucking clan member, that Tanner. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Tanner knew what he liked and knew what he did. <laughs> But I knew that that fucking coach, he, it was second and third, first base was open. He doesn't tell the fucking kid to walk me. Instead, plunk me in the fucking head. He even did the Pedro thing, right? Where he went. Right. No, 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 no. He was a total pussy man. He was looking at me. That's why he was looking at me all nervously while the dad was talking to him before the uh, pitch because he was like, I don't want to hit this guy. So after he hit me in the head, I looked right at him, 10 years old, and pointed and said, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. And the fucking umpire ejected my ass for that. Not the fucking kid who intentionally hit the 10-year-old in the head. He fucking penalized the kid who said, I'm going to get you. And I didn't even curse Roy Harder. I just pointed at the kid and I said, I'm going to get you. And I was ejected. Then the ump ejected you, which is the worst penalty he can give. So obviously you then went and got the kid, right, Dave? You have nothing to lose at this point. It was an all-star game. I didn't know the kid. If it was a league game, you all you knew all the players in the league. I would have been able to oh. ride my bike to his house and burn it the fuck down. I, I just meant the ump's logic was, hey, the worst thing I can do is throw you from this game if you do something bad. So you threaten a kid, and he throws you out. What's stopping you from then just in that moment charging the mound and beating the shit out of the kid with a bat? He can't do anything to you. Well, this is why. Because my fucking coach did not have my back. Oh, your coach is a pussy. And for the rest of my life, 
I will never respect that, this guy. His name is Mr. C. And Mr. C said, that's not how we act. That's not how we act in Little League. I'm like, Mr. C, did you not see the most obvious fucking intentional beaning in the head? You don't even hit me in the back. You fucking hit me in the head. I'll tell you one thing. To that kid right there from Middletown North, Little League All-Star team in 1990, if, if you're watching this, I am going to fucking kill you. You know what? Robert has motivated me. I'm going to find you. I'm going to find where you are. I'm going to find what you look like, what the fuck your job is. I'm going to find your fucking house. I'm going to find your fucking wife and all your little fucking kids. And I'm going to kill everyone. Happy Super Bowl Sunday to you too, Roy. <laughs> You excited to watch uh, the game? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all, buddy. <laughs> I'd rather. I'd rather you go to a party. Uh, uh, yeah, I know I used to, but then we stopped getting invited. So I, I, I'm just staying home. Staying Roy home. Harder is part of a Pearl Jam cover band, yeah. and uh, Sean O'Barry is in the band. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I just heard Dissident. They're sending me. They're sending me one track at a time, but I'm appreciative of it. Roy sent me a live. Sean O sent me Dissident. It's like, uh, what, you guys are treating me like I'm a radio station? You got to give me fucking singles? No, but we know Send me all the songs. We know you're a fan. So. I know. I want them all. Yeah, let's check, check out. I want all 15. Or ha How many songs do you have in your repertoire? We got like 15, actually. Dude, yeah, we you got to come down to the Jersey Shore. You will sell out Wonderland Bar in Asbury Park. You, you might even be able to sell out Stone Pony inside. Well, we'll, we'll I'm not kidding. We're considerate. We, we got to keep coming up. But, Andrew, a lot of love for Stone Pony. But grab that microphone. Uh, you go to yeah, Stone Pony in Asbury Park? Um, I've been there once. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. You never go to that. I mean, you're, you're, that's by my house. Where, 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 uh, why were you there? Um, I think I know exactly why. Now that I think about it, it was about 25 years ago, wasn't it? Um, 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 a friend of mine at oh. the 50th birthday party. Oh. Totally different. I was thinking it something different. To, uh, I was okay. thinking O and A. Yeah. O and A did a goddamn Stone Pony summer stage fucking thing, and they had all kinds of shit. You were there. Are you sure? Not for that, no. Are you positive? Positive. Huh. If you weren't, then how did Dave get home, Andrew? That's his question. <laughs> He's pretty sure you were his DD that night. I could have sworn you were there, Andrew, but maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Is, is it possible since he's lost all the weight, you're thinking of somebody else? Because, like, <laughs> honestly, when Andrew came in, I didn't even recognize him. Are you going to be upset that I might be thinking of half a Hulk face? <laughs> you is going to be upset. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to get you two confused. I know. I'm so sorry. Wait. Not anymore. You <laughs> Big A's got a whole Hulk face. He's called half a Hulk face because half of his side has actually like elephantitis. Oh. So it looks like half of his face is bursting into the Incredible Hulk and the other half is totally normal. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And when they when I was a younger gentleman, I sometimes would get them confused only because your height. Sure. You're, you were like, you guys are like the exact same height and like silhouette wise. He doesn't have any facial. Defense. No, not at all. You're very handsome. Well, thank you. It was the, the silhouette. They you, from behind you, you. I wouldn't be able to tell. Never from the, the front. I could. You're very handsome. Twelve pounds this month, huh? Uh, twelve. Uh, twelve. And you know what you said? You said that's why you're excited to be sitting next to Liz today, baby. And Liz, what we didn't tell you about this Super Bowl special was this whole thing was not about the Super Bowl. It was about the love connection between Andrew and Liz today. Liz looks absolutely thrilled. Roy, we've done it again, buddy. The matchmakers. Davey Mack and Roy Harder. The lovebird matchmaking uh, uh, duo. Now, how are you? How are things with you, Liz? In all honesty, in all seriousness, how are you doing? I'm here. I'm here with you. <laughs> yeah. Liz, how are you doing in life? This is the last time we're going to see Liz. <laughs> <laughs> no, how are you doing? Yeah, the, 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 the microphone needs. Yeah, there you go. So go since I've last saw you, I think I got hired and fired three times already. You've Maybe gotten hired and fired. Yep. Three times, Liz. Too. It's more than you, Dave. Four. <laughs> <laughs> For what reason, Liz? Well, the last time I walked out on because we were a little bit overstaffed, a lot overstaffed. Oh, a very lot overstaffed. Okay. So it's just uh, okay overstaffing issues. Yeah. Then that's not really fired. That's more of like let go. 
at the moment. I just walked out. She just walked out. Terms. Oh, 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 oh. Some of the, okay. So terms. she's also quitting some of these jobs. <laughs> <On> good terms. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Liz. Listen, I have bills to pay, but, you know, <laughs> at this point. <laughs> well, so what else is going to happen? Well, I think, uh, listen, you got the Patrick Mahomes. You got the Brock uh, Purdy. You got the uh, Kelsey and Swift. Okay, what about those other San Francisco 49ers people? McCaffrey? Yeah. Is he, he going to uh, do uh, be any uh, thing? Is Kittle's uh, Kittle, uh, George Kittle, Debo Samuel? Are these guys going to mean anything? I think the best football player on the field today, head and shoulders above everybody else, is McCaffrey. I think he's the best athlete. I think he has the best understanding of the game. It'll come down to coaching, though, if they put the ball in his hands. I, here's here's my here's my one piece of actual analysis. Just one. If the San Francisco 49ers, their whole game plan should be very simple. Stop Travis Kelsey. Games where Kelsey is quiet, the Chiefs really struggle. If Tra Travis Kelsey goes off today, the Chiefs are going to win the Super Bowl. So if you are the San Francisco 49ers, you need to come in here. You need to shut him down. When Travis Kelsey goes off, it frees, op uh, frees up Isaiah Pacheco, their running back, okay? And it frees up Rice, their wide receiver, not Jerry Rice, but good <laughs> reference before. Thank you for The fact that you knew Jerry Rice was a 49er. Give yourself two points. But this new Rice guy, yeah. but it all needs to happen. It all opens up when Kelsey is performing well. Mm. If. You start by shutting the guy down. It's a lot harder to run, and it's going to be harder to get Rice the football. If you're the Niners, that's what you have to do. When you shut down Kelsey. When you say twisting. shut, shut him down. Three Wait. catches or less for the entire game. What do you? When you say shut him down, do you mean the same thing that that little pitcher did to you when uh, when he was up at the? <laughs> Is that what you mean? Like take him out? No, I don't mean take him out. I mean I mean shut him down. I mean. No, not have him go off. In other words, three receptions or less. Okay. Three receptions or less for the entire football game. Shut him down. If Travis Kelsey goes out here and catches 10 balls, I don't give a shit what anyone else does. You will see the Chiefs win the, win the Super Bowl. Because wow. when Kelsey gets the ball and gets those receptions, it opens up everything else for the Chiefs offense. Okay, So you got to shut him down. Three catches or less. I wouldn't allow him to run anywhere without double coverage. Anywhere. Hmm. I'd uh, start twisting at the bottom of the pile, start biting, whatever you could do, right? That's a good point. Connor yeah. wants something. Connor wants a little fucking wouldn't, piece of this. Wouldn't focusing on shutting him down also open up everyone else? You know what I mean? Like when they used to double team Randy Moss, you know, when he's played for Patriots or Vikings or whatever, it would open up the other receivers to be open. Only Crib, listen, if the other receiver is Chris Carter, uh, Randy Moss is a Hall of Famer and Chris Carter is a Hall of Famer, but you shut down Kelsey, I can't put Pacheco and Rice in the Hall of Fame yet. And Pacheco is good, but let's not uh, think that uh, this is, you know, uh, he's not McCaffrey. Pacheco ain't McCaffrey. Pacheco's not even Saquon Barkley. He's a nice running back but if you know the defense is stacked up he can be stopped they can't he, take that heat they can't take that heat i'm telling you it's all about kelsey kelsey is the fucking key to this forget about all of andrew the greeks fucking analysis because i believe most of that had to do with murder very little football analysis was involved listen to me kelsey is the key yep. shut him down you win He's not good at pass blocking either. So if you don't have to worry about him as a receiver, then it just opens up another element of exactly. Whole, you're, you're all over it, Dave. Man, you're, that's why you're the master, right? Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. All right. Is that okay, Roy? It sounds good to me. You're, you're <laughs> driving. Do you? <laughs> you're, you're my ride. So when when you say something, can we do a song? Do you want to do that song? What song is that? Oh, the the song that sometimes we end our shows with. The song that you wrote. Oh, oh, you want to do that? Sure. Yeah. Gold uh, by Andrew. <laughs> I love that song. Next time Andrew comes, we gotta do that. <laughs> well, listen, I gotta thank Liz. I gotta thank Big A Andrew Gold. I gotta thank Connor. Connor the man. 
Bobby Timber. Boy, Hana. Super Bowl Sunday, baby. Let's get going. Let's party. Let's end it with this, all right? Four. Damn, it's been a real fine day. And damn, it's been a real fine day. Ain't got the shoes, ain't got time for bad news. Cause damn, it's been a real fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. From Long Island to West LA. No need to worry, cause I ain't in no hurry. Damn, it's been a real fine day. There's a whole lot of trouble out in this world. Yeah, whole lot of worry, whole lot of worry. Now that I had you come into my life, there's a whole lot of reason to say. Damn, it's been a real fine day. And damn, it's been a real fine day. Got all my new shoes, ain't no way we're gonna lose. Cause damn, it's been a real fine day.